get it all twisted up in the net, and it's going to be a lot harder to have a successful release. It takes a long time to grow a muskie for a muskie to grow to be a, a, a trophy size. They make up less than 1% of the fish population out there. You want to make sure you respect those fish as much as you can. You spend a lot of time, effort, and money trying to capture one, you get a nice picture, and you want to make sure you respect that fish when you do capture one. So, best case scenario, the fish is in the net. If you're need those pliers, get in there, give them a little twinkle, get the hook out. Well, we're setting the hook pretty hard sometimes. Sometimes those hooks don't come out that easily. If they don't come out easily, you'll get a bigger pair of pliers if I have to, maybe longer pair of pliers, depending where you spot to. If that doesn't help, I'll get a pair, I have a pair of Nipex cutters, and they're great for cutting hooks. Go cut these hooks, these hooks on these muscle base pliers, and some have trouble hooks like that. I'll get in, I'll actually cut the hooks to get those bait on. I don't want to be in there ripping and tearing and damaging the fish at all. So, we get the hooks out, everything's good, the fish is in the net. When somebody in the boat that wants to get the picture with the fish, I'll ask them, do you want to hold it with your right or your left hand underneath the gill plate? They say in the right hand, I'm going to reach into the net with my left hand, grab underneath the gill plate, avoiding touching the gills, and slide my right hand under its belly. I want to pull it out and keep it horizontal at all times. You never want to hang a vertical like this where its tail is hanging down here. What can happen is you can tear the stomach lining, you can hear the vertebrae in the back, and you might not have a real successful release. It can be very damaging for the fish. I'll hand the fish off to them. They'll get their hand underneath the gill plate, and underneath the belly, keep it horizontal. A couple quick pictures. You know, hold the fish, make sure everybody looks as big as you can make it look, because you want it to look as big as you can, right? a little bit of an angle, and then uh, get it back in the water. It only, the fish only has to be out of the, out of the, out of the water for maybe 10-15 seconds. By the time I pull it out hand it to the person, they stand up on the back deck. A couple quick pictures, the cameras are already ready, or your boats are already ready, and uh, get that fish right back in the water. Check out www.fishenvy.ca or brentboatcheck.com. Follow the link to the Lobo's website and check out this awesome fishing machine.